Hey, right. everybody. Welcome to another episode of Comedy Mainline. This uh, episode is live streaming on, uh, at the very least, Facebook. So please uh, check it out. Or if you're already seeing this, just keep watching it. Maybe share it. That would help us out. You can also uh, subscribe to it, available wherever you get your podcasts. I am Robert Burrill, and beaming in from the great state of Colorado, uh, you can tell by his background uh, and his eyes, Steve Gillespie. Hey, everybody. How you guys doing? Good to see you, boys. Doing good. Good to see you, too. And I am joined in studio by the owner and operator of said studio, uh, the delightful Gabe Noah. Thank you, Robert. I'm one hey. of those people who touches <laughs> people. Thank you. Yeah. No. no problem. No yeah. problem. The thanks yeah. for having me. I'm looking yeah, thanks for to having this. us. It's yeah. a wonderful studio, and anytime we can uh, be able to uh, use it, we appreciate it. Uh, NBC Studios in Minneapolis, Minnesota, land of 10,000 cop trials. And I'm going to stop doing that joke now. Uh, it works every time, but I also feel like if anyone watches more it than one of these, every you know, single it's, time. yeah, you know, maybe I'll just keep doing it and then it'll just gradually get funny again, like on the radio where they have the same catchphrase. Yeah. Well, I mean, our law enforcement keeps making it, it topical, you know, yeah. over and over. Mm -hmm. But do you ever have bits like fault. that That's where not... you like, you know, I've had that before where I find myself keep doing this bit. I don't even think the fucking thing's funny necessarily, yeah. but it's like I keep doing it for, you know, four extra weeks or something mm -hmm. like that. I don't know. Do you like, I mean, is that where you yeah. put that bit? Kind, well, part of it, like you're saying, was where like I, I do it for a while yeah. and then I'm like, well, okay. But then it happens again. Yeah. And then suddenly it's biting and topical where it's like, well, it's kind of evergreen because the police are, yeah. for the most yeah. part, uh, terrible. Uh, Do you ever here. wonder, Robert, if you are manifesting, but either you keep doing no, the jokes, I am, just manifest, it's like your he's fault. Got that power. I, I have a, 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 I feel like a regular level of comedian egotism, but I'm under no illusion that I have the power to manifest police brutality. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm not when the set, if the set's done and it's gone well, I don't like, oh no, did I just will another uh, beating a new existence with these jokes. Yeah. That would be a good Twilight Zone episode or something, or a Black Mirror, though, if if a comedian could do that. I think he thinks of his jokes as something that saves the world, not really hurts yeah, the world. Yeah, if anything, it's the opposite. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm like the Nelson Mandela. It's more of a uniter. Of, yeah, 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 exactly. I'm a uniter, not a divider. Yeah. Thank you, Gabe. I appreciate yeah, that. Mm -hmm. Believe me, it's how we all take your material, too. I, I appreciate that. <laughs> and uh, this this bad boy is being produced. I don't know if we have him on camera or not, but the wonderful Chell Bjorgen is uh, at hey, the helm. Hey, how's it going? Thanks for having me. No problem. Hey, Chell. No problem. Nice to hear your voice. Chell or high water? That's me, right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> To Chell and back. Yep. Oh, no problem. Well, let's get the show going. Steve, you have, uh, I understand, uh, a take on Spirit Airlines. Yeah. <laughs> the, thank you for that beautiful segue. That's the best. I, I, you've never seemed funnier, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think what, what, the thing for me is that I don't... Look God, at I'm that also, background. I'm a, Look at that background. Yeah, beautiful. You're I'm in a, the ocean. I am a... I am a, a poor person. I, I don't have a lot of money. And, um, but I don't, you know what I mean? Like, I feel he like he says I don't... from his own home studio. Yes. Yes. And, uh, I just, it bugs me when poor people don't act like when, you know, they don't act in a way that, uh, you know, like they're unaware of their poorness. And it, nowhere is that the nerve. More, than on a spirit <laughs> airlines flight they're yes. acting like they're equals you're saying exactly yeah and and, <laughs> and and you're on a spirit airlines flight and i was one on, on one recently because i'm poor and uh the guy behind there was like a, a two dudes behind me that were talking the whole flight like boasting and bragging there was a lady that was by them that they were talking to and just just ha like too happy and if you're on a spirit airlines flight i just don't think anyone should be allowed to talk on a spirit airlines flight you should be <laughs> fucking dead silent you should be brooding in your seat and just with your like head in your hands just thinking about all the horrible decisions you've made to the point where you could only afford a 45 dollar round trip flight you know, yeah. yeah every not be every seat on a Spirit Airlines flight is the timeout chair 
Yeah, and you <laughs> need to reevaluate. There's no talking yeah. in timeout. We're all in timeout right now. That's yeah. what it is. It's yeah. Shut the fuck up. You're in a 10-inch seat that doesn't recline. Shut up. There's $45 flights. There's people, that's a regular person's bar tab. Like, you should not be yeah. bragging and boasting and fucking, oh, man. There's cocks that are bigger than those seats. You know? Yeah. I'm sitting on one right now. Uh, there's, <laughs> that's uh, why Gabe has to fly United. He can't even fly Spirit. The, yeah. There's a level of shame that should come with that ticket. You know, like, exactly. yeah, to be aware of it. For sure. No, I, yeah, exactly. I if was he, at a Wendy's once and this lady uh, was complaining at the thing, like at the counter. And I truly had like a, like I got real insight because she was really being mean to the manager. And she goes, I paid, it was a Baconator Junior during their sale. And she goes, mm -hmm. I paid a dollar ninety nine for this. <laughs> Like with some real, <laughs> and, yeah. and it like hit me and I was like, holy shit, how do they fucking make money here? <laughs> like there's a biz yeah. building and people and advertising, like what the fuck are we eating? But anyway, yeah, it just yeah. It blew me away. Her uh, hubris in that way. Yeah. Yeah. My favorite thing is when people uh, are talking about flights and how small that, you know, they have no like room. It's like, oh my God, you should be so thankful that you're short. Because it sucks <laughs> to be tall on a plane. I've said that. It's like, yeah. really? Oh, thanks a lot. Yeah, yeah it's I'm really thankful that I'm five foot seven because it's short privilege. You have short room. privilege. Just, yeah, you can. Hour and a half flight. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, nobody will fuck me, but at least I have a couple more inches in my <laughs> airlines. <laughs> Uh, I'm comfortable on the plane when, <laughs> when I'm thinking of the women who won't fuck me. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think well, they're, they're, they just came out that you don't have to wear a mask on planes anymore. But I think on an air, on a Spirit Airlines flight, you should they should hand out a mask when you get on the plane. That's good, just so you can cover your face, yeah. so no one has to see that That's, you bought a forty five dollar flight. I love that. You still wear your mask when you're on Spirit Airlines, <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, over your eye. Yeah. What? Um, no one uses their real name. No direct eye contact. Like yeah. a, like an NA meeting or some sort yeah. of, you, you have know, to pay did, for water. That's how yeah, I was going to say, yeah, you don't get to brag is. if you have to like pay for the life. Like, nothing is complimentary because you wanted to spend $19 on this. You don't become an aristocrat just because you're airborne. Yeah. Yes. Well, yeah, you used like, to. That's all. It's thing. like a, the Greyhound bus of the sky. Like, just be it's lucky. Mega bus. Mega bus. Mega bus yeah, of the yeah. sky. Yeah. Just be lucky. No one's shooting up right next to you. Like yeah. that's. Yeah. I mean, at some point, I feel like that'll probably be what winds up happening. But because now that's we got rid of the mask thing. mandate, it's now exact... people are shooting up. Yeah, that's the same thing with Greyhound buses too. I've been on a Greyhound bus. I've, I don't know Greyhound bus from Indianapolis to Cleveland, and people were like. It was like a party on that fucking bus. People were so happy. And the, I sat down and there was a guy in front of me that had, you remember those old DVD players? It looked like it like opened up and you could slide a DVD in it and it would play your DVD. Like it had to have been from like fucking 2002 or the nineties even. And mm -hmm. he had no headphones on and he was watching Frasier. No, not Frasier. Some, some other like sitcom. I was about to say, is Frasier big with the uh, bus was Frasier, people? But yeah, it was some sitcom, and he, no headphones, and he's just blaring his DVD player mm -hmm. on this, and I, I, like, tapped him on the shoulder, and I was like, hey, man, do you have headphones or something, you know? And he just goes, come on, man, this is funny. This show's <laughs> funny, man. <laughs> well, you can't argue with that. I like yeah, the idea. Was... <laughs> this show's funny. Sorry, I was keeping up. I was texting Chell to try to turn down your microphone. It's, it's, I can it's... turn it down. Okay, can you, yeah, like I think the gain or something like that. I don't know. It's really maxing out in my ears, at least. I, I don't want it to be is all that, fuzzy. Is that better? Well, that that's a little too much, I think. But yeah, I'm How's sorry. That? I didn't want. That's what I was trying to do without stealing the momentum. Uh, it's all good. I had no momentum game. How's I was that funny. I think I I like the idea though of of you keeping poor people in their place. You know, like yeah. you're wherever you are, and if poor people are feeling good, you know, someone's got to step in to remind them that they have no right to to feel happy or entitled to anything. <laughs> you know? I mean, that's a great thing. And by the way, I would go one further to say that it might be interesting to examine that you are um, you are a self hating poor person. Oh, like very yeah, clearly, maybe. right? Because yeah, yeah. you're you're with mm -hmm. them. You're not yeah, observing yeah. from your limousine. Yeah, you know, oh, but not at all. But in your brain. And I you, think you're in a limousine. <laughs> and you resent 
you resent their their happiness, which you see as like some sort but of denial. Like, it's a beautiful quality. Was, yeah. Like if I was in first class, let's say Spirit Airlines had a first class, right? And and sure. I was in first class and they, I like peeked, I peeked through the curtain, right? I was like, hey, what are those animals doing back there? You know? And yeah. I peeked through the curtain and yeah. I saw that they were having a good time. I think then I would be okay with it. I, then I think I would be like, oh, uh, yeah, you know, you know, they should have a good time. You know, they're having a hard life. But when I'm in the middle of it with them, when I'm in the trenches with them, I don't want anyone else being happy. I, I want you guys to be as uh, uncomfortable in your seat, as sad in your seat as I am. You get what I'm saying? If the plane was crashing, would you stand up and say, you like, you see, this is why, <laughs> this is what you people deserve. Yeah. You understand? <laughs> mm -hmm. You know why I was brooding now? Because yeah. this stuff happens to us. Here, I got, I, I got 75 cents. Fight for it. Fight for it, you <laughs> dirty mongrels. Yeah. Uh, I did want the plane to crash because it wasn't because of the poor people. It was because of the uh, flight attendants. I don't know. This Spirit Airlines is the only flight I've ever been on where the flight attendants try to be funny through the intercom. Have you guys yes, experienced that? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And it, like we were landing in uh, New Orleans. Says the guys and, on the comedy podcast. <laughs> hate when people try to be funny. <laughs> yeah. And he, the guy's like, if you look out, the flight attendant's like, if you look out of the right side of the plane, you can see swamp. And if you look outside the left side of the plane, you see swamp. And everyone laughs like it's the funniest thing I've ever fucking heard. And I'm like, God, I want this fucking plane to crash so badly. And I want to just like, I didn't want to die right away in the plane crash. I wanted to to just ha be alive just long enough to see people just burning in jet fuel before I burned in jet fuel. Do you look That's around? <laughs> What's the you... guy got to do to get hijacked on this bit? <laughs> when you get on a plane, do you look around at the people to gauge your likelihood of crashing? Mm. No? Am I alone on that no, one? I, did, I was on a plane where a guy started yelling. Really? As we were landing. Yeah. He, I mean, like, scared. He was, like, yelping. Really? I had yeah. one, so I had a real, like, uh, back when I was a dick. You guys remember that way a long time ago. <laughs> and um, I got on a plane, and this dude I'm sitting with, who's a very a well-to-do looking um, business guy. And I'm going to say it happened on Spirit Airlines, so I'm, like, on topic. But I don't know what, mm -hmm. what, it, oh, what, it, what it really was. But um, sitting next to him, and, I mean, he was, le like, sweating and, like, rubbing his hands on it, like, rocking in his chair. Like, he, you could tell he was fucked up, right? And I, and I was like... And I just I was like, are you all right, man? And he's like, ah. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I, I'm just, I don't fly. I don't fly. I, I hate this. This is really scary. So I'm sorry if it bothers you. I go, hey, man, what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> <laughs> and, and he fuck, he goes like, yeah. oh. <laughs> just like looked super like it bothered him really bad. So it was funny to me. Well, it's definitely the, the airlines to pick if you hate flying is spirit. By all people. means, make the yeah yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think it's uh, you. I like the idea of the only time you're pro heckle is like heckling the the Spirit Airlines uh, stewardess or whatever. Like you, like you get it because you're a comic, but you're also like you suck. Stop yeah, doing yeah. this. Speaking from a position of authority, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you actually yeah. suck. Yeah. <laughs> um, do you ever see when comics do that shit? Like I've seen. I I feel like I might be saying this about because i saw this somewhat recently shit that might be one of our friends i don't fucking whatever i saw a comic that we know they didn't, they didn't get on the intercom yeah no because it, oh i know who it was i know who it was so i'm cool with it. got on the intercom yeah a comic we know from the scene got on the interplane or on the thing because like they were i think they were delayed on the tarmac or something like that holy shit and they what he he, he she they Z <laughs> volunteered that they're a comedian and they can help make these people feel better. And I was like, you're the oh, biggest sociopath on the fucking my planet. My fucking God. Hmm? That's the last, last set you'll ever do. How I know star for you, stage you, you, you time do you have card. to be? How star? <laughs> I'm going to get a set in on this yeah. tarmac. This is... It, that's. Do they used to book comedians <laughs> on planes? They used to what? They used to, do they used to book comedians on planes? Is that a thing that used to happen? No, I don't think so. I mean, I would okay. think if they did, you would have worked there. I mean, you did cruise ships. <laughs> <laughs> right? Were you about to uh, condescend it? Because no. <laughs> Which, by the way, I can ask you, like, your cruise ship stuff, I'm, I'm always curious about. So, so yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, we've talked about it on yeah. this show before. Was I it think, a nice cruise anytime. ship? Anytime. Um, it's like surface level nice. You know what I mean? If you don't look too closely, you're like, oh, wow, this fucking thing is beautiful. But then you, you, know, you start digging in and you're like, ah. Very well like, put. I've been on yeah, one, you know one I mean? cruise and that's exactly how I'd sum it up. That's actually great. Yeah. 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 The only thing that was cool about the cruise ship is they had an art auction. So they had all this like paintings brought in and you could go and auction for art. I mean, I didn't, I didn't like participate, but I did go watch. Where'd the art come from? Like, from like artists? the passengers? I don't know. Pa yeah. <laughs> like oh, no, no. It was like, it was like, you know, real paintings. And uh, there was some cool shit. Huh. It was actually pretty cool. Is okay. that where you got but your background? These... No, Robert. Uh, it's from the woman that's... he loves. Okay, I'm yeah. just saying it looks like uh, the ocean. Yeah, it's from. Uh, yeah, look at that stupid bitch, bitch me. I didn't no. say oh. that. No. I didn't say that. I you said art, so no. I, I associated that yeah, with the yeah. background you have. I, but it was pretty. weird because it was like all these people. You know, the whole ship is just from people from like fucking Baltimore or whatever. You know, depending where real you're, it's Greyhound all, it's, bus folks. Yeah, they yeah, saved exactly. up. Yeah, and uh, so it's like I don't. These people aren't the type of people that are going to buy art. They're not the type of people that are going to auction for art. Tell me that's are how you, you open your shows. Ugh. Are you shitting <laughs> on another you group of poor travelers? <laughs> Look at. <laughs> <laughs> If you're looking to book your uh, Republican fundraiser for this upcoming election season, might I recommend Steve Gillespie? <laughs> let me loads the poor. Let me throw. <laughs> let me throw one more thing on this topic because I want to know what you guys think of this. Because I I felt very um, out of step with something, so I browsed Reddit as an older man and uh, <laughs> to see what the what the youth are up to. And there was a post, and they have this anti-work uh, thread right now, but I didn't see what the topic was. And it was okay. someone's tweet where they said, um, where they said, when you're young and starting out um, and you tell me that you don't work after 5 p.m. and you don't uh, put in hours on weekends and you won't, you know, basically like the new woke boundary movement, right? Yeah, work, work life balance. Work life balance. Yep. Yeah. And um, Chell, that's a very interesting name tag you've got up for me. <laughs> <laughs> that looks so cool. <laughs> Um, yeah. the, uh, <laughs> the, uh, whatever it said, all this stuff about how like you don't work, you know, you don't want to work extra hours. You don't want to apply yourself after 5 PM. You don't just all this stuff. And the guy mm. was like, I'm sorry. It's kind of hard for me to want to hire you. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Right. Like when you're saying that in your interview, which, Oh, you said that in your interview. Holy yeah. shit. So okay. I read that and I'm like. Yeah, kind of fun. like because I didn't know the subject, right? So I'm just reading, yeah. like, yeah, of course, like that's that would be fucking weird. The thread was just everyone lighting up that guy for being a fucking monster. Like, you know, the first thing is, oh, I'm sorry, so you don't care about workers' rights and you don't care about yeah, anyone's yeah. quality of life. And I was just like, oh, well, I care about those things, but I also think that you fucking, I don't know, someone did. Well, that. here's the thing: you don't you don't say that in the interview. You tell them in the interview that, oh, I'm a hard worker. I'm going to work late hours. I'm going to come in on time. And then you get to the job and you're like, oh, I'm making $15 an hour. I'm leaving at 430 and I'm yeah. going to come 15 minutes late. And I don't, you don't say it in a fucking interview. <laughs> that's what I think. And, and, and I don't even think you have to say the first shit, right? But it's like you don't uh, – like you, know, you don't have to lie and say you will. But it's – to me, if someone came in laying out their boundaries first, you go, this is probably not going to be a really fun person to work with. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I, like I don't know, but yeah, I, yeah. I learned that mm -hmm. I'm incredibly out of step with the. Uh, well, it depends what the job is too. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Of course. Anyway, so yeah. I I just viewed that as where I'm like, boy, do I fucking like hate poor people? Like, cause I my thought <laughs> that's why I'm saying it's kind of on this topic because I felt like I don't relate to that. Like you are starting out, you are supposed to work that way when you're 25. Yeah. Is that how you work? And the you're reason playing? the Reddit thread was no, so I was long. a heroin addict. <laughs> <laughs> but I did in my 30s, you know, I yeah, I bust my yeah. ass. The know, reason the Reddit out. thread on that was so long is because none of those people are employed <laughs> right. because I'm, they agree so they can just be posting on Reddit about how it's outrageous that a boss would want people to work. Mm. Yeah, I'm just saying that I share in a way I'm learning I share your viewpoint where you go like, "No, no, no, no. You're a different level." You have to work harder. <laughs> you have to not. You can't yeah. be happy. 
I don't know. Yeah, I think if anything, yeah, it's like I'm you, a toxic the, person. The social con, the social contract, right? Like just respect yeah. the game. Yeah, lie, say you're, you know, you care about that stuff, and you slough off once you have it. Yeah. But the, the I was ego. a terrible employee. I've never been a good employee. I've never been good at working for anybody else. So I can't, you know, I don't. But I also know that. You know what I mean? I don't. Expect oh, that's a real be, strength like, then. And it's it's I charming. Well, I didn't expect it's, to be like. Yeah, you're. Uh, you know, I expected to get in trouble at work. I expected to be like, you, we're not giving you a raise. You didn't. <laughs> you you come in an hour late every day. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I expect to be in trouble. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, it, it's that's very akin to the guy who goes like, what? I'm an asshole. So sue me. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, you know yeah. you are. So Steve, cool. this is a right. meeting. Put your phone down. Well, you knew well, I was. Oh, okay. <laughs> but that's that's the, also the reason why I went into stand up. You know, I mean, I work for myself. I do. You know what I mean? I didn't. Yeah. I, other I, opportunities I are not available to you. Yeah. I've organized <laughs> my life in a way where I don't have to, you know, yes. disappoint a boss. I think we all put ourselves in that corner. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, for real. Yeah. That's how yeah. I viewed it. Yeah. All right. All well, right, speaking one. of uh, not disappointing anybody, uh, great segue <laughs> to to my bit about how the uh, artist currently known as John Hinckley Jr., uh, who most people probably, if they do recognize the name, it's from uh, him shooting Reagan amongst mm. uh, other people as mm. well. But they're not Reagan, so I don't – no one remembers them. Uh, Can we dive into that for a second? I was thinking so it was that... the John Lennon guy for some reason. For no, that's Mark too. David. Yeah, no, now that you say yeah, that, yeah. just when I yeah. read your topic. That would be funny if he came out that's... and it was like a Beatle cover band. It's like, dude, come on. <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> you, so, or to say the guy that shot – Love, love me, don't. You know, get it? Because I killed John. All right. What are you going to say, Steve? <laughs> the the guy that shot Lennon, did he, was he a three-name guy too? Mark David Chapman. Well, I think everybody has three names, don't they? It's just the I just learned why they the... did that. I, I was trying to like write bits about it and shit mm -hmm. but it's so yeah. that if you if if your name is john hinckley or, uh, or gary chapman whatever they, they go hey man i heard you killed ronald Reagan or whatever you yeah. killed yeah, uh, john yeah, yeah. lennon this week no i didn't no they said it on the yeah. news they yeah. said you did <laughs> <laughs> said john hinckley or whatever mark yeah. chapman yeah i'm yeah. mark Kevin Chapman. <laughs> Kevin? I thought yeah, I'd prefer the Stones, but I wouldn't go so far as to. Yeah. I don't kill think I've ever heard Kevin has a middle name now. That so where, where did he shoot Reagan? <laughs> he like shot him in the leg or something, didn't he? I you mean, know? I didn't I, research this part of it. Um, I, I think it was just. An, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it, it was, mm -hmm. uh, and I just mean present in time and conscience. <laughs> yeah, yeah, conscience. yeah. But uh, no, I, I, th I thought he did catch one in the chest, but maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, I mm. yeah, I'm not sure where he got shot. Although one of the jokes that I did want to do is how Hinkley's band is going to open with the cover of Bon Jovi "Shot Through the Heart." Ooh, yeah, ooh, mm -hmm. I think that's kind of insensitive. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, I do a darker, I do a dark comedy that brings people together. Well, you know? uh, I'm yeah. not all about the fluff. Okay, I plumb the depths yeah. of the human psyche. Um, so I know he shot. Uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but the secret certain this could possibly playing yeah uh he's you know the movie the bodyguard like where he gets kevin in front. costner You're like yep that became an 80s trope where like you have mm -hmm. to like shield the oh, person from your body yeah 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 You're like the guy for the secret service did that with reagan mm -hmm. actually like took a shot nobody a fucking shot? talks about him yeah like they go johnny yeah. he shot reagan and that guy said oh home, like, yeah <laughs> my right arm doesn't work yeah. <laughs> i was shot i stepped in front of him like really yeah yeah mm -hmm. we don't know his name no one no, like no it's one so knows. fucking like i just picture that guy hanging out at a bar just trolling for ladies oh just yeah like so you you heard about when reagan was shot right and she's like who's <laughs> reagan so i'm sure you heard about who's <laughs> reagan <laughs> i got shot president ronald yeah. reagan no, the you know, president's the president's Biden. I don't know who you talk. Get out of here, creep! Like <laughs> it gradually becomes less and less effective as the guy's still trying to. Yeah, and he's got his arm in a sling still. Like he still has it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so he took a shot at Reagan, and now he was he was in a mental institution uh, for whatever thirty years, forty years, however long it was. Writing Alleged songs, writing songs, yeah. writing songs. Yeah. He apparently uh, did it to impress Jodie Foster, uh, which is another joke that I have: is his band's going to be called Jodie Foster the People, or uh, Hank Floyd. Um, <laughs> so that, yes, there's the room for the the possible band titles that he has. 
But just dwelling on, like, you know, to me, this is the real, with all due respect to Kurt Warner, this is the real American underdog story. Mm -hmm. It's bad. It's, it's historical, right? Because I, to my knowledge, there's been no other presidential assassins that have gone on to start bands or been in a band. And I could be wrong. Maybe Lee Harvey Oswald was in a skiffle group uh, in the 50s when he was finding himself. <laughs> but uh, certainly not after they shot a president. Yeah, I can think then... of him passing out flyers like outside a thing. And like, people yeah, yeah. Are, like Hinkley Jr., are you the guy who shot? Like, I don't want to talk. This is about my yeah. music. I don't yeah. want to talk this about is... it. <laughs> that was my earlier oh, work. Art, I've man. gone in a different direction I'm, right I'm now. I'm in a whole new space right now. Yeah. This is. <laughs> Hopefully no one crosses me at all. But yeah. No, it's, yeah, to, to think of that frustration of him trying to start my fucking band, man. We got to get our band together. Yeah. It'll be, it'll come full circle when he's invited to perform at the White House and the secret, like, are you sure, Joe? Is this something you want? I mean, he has shot it like, no, no, he says he's reformed <laughs> and he still tries to go for an imaginary, like, no, John, no, you're a musician now. Oh, sorry. Right. I can't. <laughs> Is Jody watching? Is Jody Foster watching? If he Who are these to... maniacs that are going to join the band? I mean, you'll get a band. band. They already have a sold out gig in New York because I mean, how punk it that's legit. You shot the president like that's He yeah. doesn't get more punk than that. Like, yeah, even if the music sucks, it's still historic. You're like, oh, I got a ticket. It's John Hinckley Jr. and friends, you know, and do we Mumford know, and Sons. Of, uh, do we know what type of music he plays? Yeah, I was going to ask that. Uh, death metal. I don't know. I have no oh, idea. Oh, yeah. It'd be it'd folk, folk music, maybe. Little, if he actually uh, like rubbed like fucking rubbed people's faces in, you know in that like i mean made it a brag thing like yeah i fucking shot the press like played yeah, that yeah, up yeah. i actually think you'd get attention i think it'd be funny if you like went the other way and just did, did like, like kind of folky simon and garfunkel stuff and then like every <laughs> once in a while would allude to the fact that he did try to shoot the president but like he, he's not he's not that guy anymore artists change you know he's people uh, grow. people grow exactly <laughs> All right. Anything else on that? Any any ideas on? Uh, where I think I want to see John what his Hinkley? music is and stuff. Yeah, and that'll be that could be really maybe fun. maybe Chal okay. could search that for us. Yeah, sure yeah. thing. One second, let me find it. It'd be yeah, nice to it. play a snippet too if he's not I, under. Contract. I don't know if you guys if you I don't. He's probably not under contract right now. I actually he's bet some now fucking so villain probably has with him under contract, <laughs> right? Like just to, I mean, as a sheer money making thing, you'll get a curiosity factor oh, among absolutely. old people for sure. Uh, speaking of presidential assassins or presidents that didn't get assassinated, but they tried to, I was doing, um, Dr. Grins in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And because I'm me, I went to that Gerald Ford. Hello, everybody. Was uh -huh. that, was that him? Yeah. Sorry. I was going to queue it up. Oh, all you right. Well, play if you want to play a bit? Yeah. Go ahead. I'll make a note of what I was going to. You got, do you guys want to see the actual video or do you want to hear the, sure, the, put pure, it on. the pure audio? Yeah, throw it up there. Yeah. Put it yeah. on if you well, can. That's going to take me just make it full screen. God, God knows like, he needs the press. With it. God knows he needs the you press. You can drag it in front of Steve's screen. Oh, I can. Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, like, you know, you have to switch to the full screen thing, but yes. So switch to full screen NDI. Full screen NDI. Okay. Yep. 26,000 subscribers. Not bad. Holy shit. Holy really? shit. Yeah, well, come on, name or recognition. No, that's no, those are we gotta views, get him on our show. And that's two hundred sixty-one. Oh, and he does have twenty. Yeah, those are subscribers. Yeah, I thought you guys were talking about your page. No, <laughs> no, that's all right. So, <laughs> so, so Chell, to... do you have the full screen one so the audience can see it? No, I'm looking. The I can't base talk NDI. And it's do at it the at top. The same time. Huh? It's the base NDI one at the top. Like, you know, use the bass NDI input. I love how the related songs are Nixon with no expletives deleted and Paul McCartney's Mull of Kintyre are in the same related video thread. Look at all those clocks in the background. It's yeah. like the George Harrison song. The time, <laughs> time is on my side. That's He's got nothing got but time. Money. He's got nothing but time the to last... Th here we go. Time. Hello, everybody. This is an original song I wrote not, not long ago. So you get that hole checked out. <laughs> I should sell them more. We all are striving to be free. Yeah. We're in harmony. This is the majesty of love. When every couple settles down. It's pretty exciting. Goodness will be found. He's a piece of A lot of energy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I was sick of the negativity. Yeah. The guy who popped a shot yeah. at the president. <laughs> I'm gonna say Reagan probably would have shot himself if he heard this. The world is still so wow. much I feel like this is a. Can we, have much to gain? Can we get a good sample here? Yeah, yeah I think we don't need. We don't need to. Yeah, we got the gist. This is. I don't know how to turn it off. Oh, just <laughs> actually. All right. Well, that's. I guess we're just. <laughs> well, it was the believable. Show. <laughs> I know. I know. And I'm gonna leave it on this screen for the rest of the time. Yeah. <laughs> But anyway, uh, getting back to presidents that nearly died, I went to the, the Gerald Ford Museum in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and I don't know how this uh, escaped me, but two separate ladies attempted to assassinate Gerald Ford. Within, was one yeah, of them. yep, within uh, a few months, and yeah. neither one of them succeeded. I'm up on the Manson shit, so yeah, I pay yeah, attention. Okay, yeah, so, yeah. so I'm very into I mean, I, I was actually going to bring it up earlier, but I'm like, oh, oh yeah, yeah. Fucking Bring up my Manson, shit. but that's yeah, fucking a, fascinating. You're, you're talking about Charlie Manson? Yeah, yeah. Charles Manson? No, yeah, Doug Manson. Charlie Manson. Which <laughs> have you ever have you ever seen uh have you ever seen that Charlie Rose interview from um, like the eighties? Him and Manson. Uh, I know Manson? exactly which specific one you're talking about. Oh, it's incredible. No, I, I don't know. It, uh, is that the one oh. where he had the swastika tattoo on his forehead? Yeah, yeah. Like it's, the first it, one he, where he came out with that. Yeah, he interviews him, and it's like it's like forty minutes long. And by the end of it, I was like catching myself being like, "Oh yeah, that makes sense." Like I was, oh yeah, you, I was like, "You were un, you were like, under his spell." Me in. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like he has that. He There's has no doubt in my mind that he fucking has that. Well, good. I don't want you to doubt it because he has it. <laughs> He's got. <laughs> yeah. You don't get people to kill for you unless yeah, you it's have crazy. It. Didn't, he, it's, didn't he marry like a twenty-two-year-old? lady while he was in prison like wasn't that a, a story before i, I think oh, i remember sure. talking they about that on, yeah all those major killers that's a great way to get meet women uh <laughs> ask the night stalker yeah he actually held up as a devil's pentagram on his hand in court <laughs> and said like hail <laughs> satan and he got a flood of fucking women trying to fuck him like actually wow. women driving cross too. country to do conjugal visits wow yeah mm-hmm so what were you going to say about Manson? Oh, just that squeaky front. Like she was a giant part of history in that time. Like mm -hmm. she's part of the Manson murders. She okay. was, you know, uh, accused of that. And then she went and popped a shot at Gerald Ford. It's just, wow. it was, it was. Which incredible. I think goes to show just how progressive Gerald Ford was for the time. Because I think that he had, not only did he have one woman try to, he had two women try yeah. to assassinate, which is pretty progressive, I it think. It also you says know, a lot <laughs> about Squeaky Fromm's um, capabilities as a person. She's important historically. Mm -hmm. Her achievements. Yeah. Yeah. Less than one term, two assassins, Gerald Ford. Wow. Yep. Yeah. No one liked him. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's move on. Uh, Gabe. This is uh, your. This is your baby. Okay, you gotta, which one is it? I don't even know this which one's, one. I think this one's uh, fast food. Can't see the this screen. This is your. Let's is this see. what everyone's seeing if they are on the? Uh, and who knows? Yeah, it's all right. The That's live right. feed. It's um, no. Bear I don't with think us, so. folks. We got a. We oh, okay. got Chell is a brand new producer, and we're <laughs> we're working it out. It's all good. We're working. What did it I out. do? What's going? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh boy. Uh, oh boy. Yeah, this fine. Is, I'm just trying to look up. What put on your 3D glasses. Um, I was talking. To <laughs> hey, there we go. Yeah, which oh, eating fast food. This is Steve told me to talk about this. I was, I was as opposed to I was relaying slow food. Oh, okay. You ever go through eat slow food? I don't yeah. know. I was no, like, I don't know. Uh, no, there's just, something else to fast food. There's yeah. a there's a McDonald's family restaurant uh, close by here. Okay, <laughs> and I fucking have to eat there all the time. Like I you I hate to. it. Mm -hmm. I you fucking, fucking have to eat there. It's I feel intense shame i talked to chell's uh significant other lady about it she does the same thing and it's like that, that mcdonald's when you, you know the people like they fucking know me like the lady will go <laughs> like norma Hi, cheers honey. yeah 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 and it's like no don't act like you know me yeah yeah shut the fuck up, <laughs> shut the fuck up. um it, like yeah. if i was with a woman i'd be going through there and go like oh yeah i've never been here because i eat healthier than this usually and then she go hey Honey, you yeah, want yeah. the usual? Like, shut the fuck up. Babe, you want the extra, <laughs> yeah. extra large fries? Yeah, because it's oh, fucking God. shameful. I even watched yeah. the um, the chicken nugget pink slime video. You see that? No. Someone, oh, it was uh, like some f food um, terrorist type people went in to expose like what goes into your McDonald's. Oh, don't it do that. It makes Just, you want to ugh. fucking puke. It is amazingly disgusting. 
I was back eating it fucking two days later. And I was yeah. repulsed. And I'm saying, like, uh, you know, I was married to a woman that she was, like, if I ate a McDonald's hamburger in front of her, like, I would rather have her walk in on me fucking the neighbor lady than <laughs> eating a McDonald's hamburger. <laughs> like, because her level of disgust, it's the same. So I might as well, well that lady's fucking organic. pussy. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. It, it was, I mean, truly. And then to have, like, the bag in my car, like, I'd get home and I'd have to, like, hide it. It for real, I'd rather have her find Percocets in my car than that find <laughs> fucking McDonald's bag wrapper. And then the worst part is, though, is I have some weird fucking ego where I'll eat at McDonald's. I'm hating myself for it, but I also have this thing where, like, I have time. This is my lunch break, right? I could go yeah. eat in the restaurant and eat. But I'm like, I'm not going to go in there and eat with those fucking losers. So then I go through the drive-thru <laughs> and I park my car in their same I do the drive, you know, the idea of the drive through is you're a man on the go. You got to go somewhere. Yeah, yeah. I go order my food in my car and I park 10 feet away <laughs> and then just sit there. You go, they have a little row where the people who do this, because I'm not alone. Yeah. There's yeah, a community yeah, yeah. of us. Mm -hmm. And you go <laughs> and you park there. Muncher's and Row. And then you just yeah. like, sh yes, yeah, it's like yeah. Sniffer's Row, but yeah. for eating McDonald's. Yep. And you just shame, eat your food as quick. And there's an unwritten rule, like you don't look over and make eye contact with the other people because I'll. Oh yeah. yeah, why would you? Right. Yeah. You don't shame them because we're already. Yeah. yeah. In shame, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, you don't need to. So I'm thinking I'm I'm actually starting to tape my McDonald's bags up on the window when I eat. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, it's just a what, weirdest thing. How about thing. the monsters? How about the monsters that eat in the restaurant? Oh, who sit down in the McDonald's? On let alone alone. Like, oh yeah, I think I'm just gonna go eat at McDonald's by myself for an hour. <laughs> really take Have my you time. Seen the people that like <laughs> read the treat paper, it like yeah, but the people that like treat it like an office. Like there's been I oh, yeah. the one in oh, yeah. uh, like Woodbury, the McDonald's there because they've renovated a lot of the McDonald's now because I think they want to you know do like the whole Starbucks thing where it's like no this isn't trashy like look at this we got TVs on CNBC for Christ's sake like this is yeah. you know yeah. and then you see guys in like. It, dress shirts and slacks and they have laptops there and you're like what are you oh yeah 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 what he's not you, talking about just homeless people so, uh, yeah, right. yeah this is like, like you know accountants yeah. and shit and you're like hey let's go to mcdonald's like yeah what i was McDonald's. with a guy once when uh we got to the drive-thru and they had the new chicken sandwich and and uh he goes uh chicken he, or is that uh, no King? no it's the number four four b spicy crispy okay. uh chick but um <laughs> he goes uh <laughs> He goes, hey, I see uh, you got the uh, spicy chicken sandwich on the. He goes, how is that? <laughs> Which I'd never, I never even like fucking dawned on me that you could ask the people there like their opinions. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you know, like it makes me wonder if he talks about politics with them or anything. Like, hey, how yeah. should I think about this yeah, yeah. Nixon thing? But, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's just it's the whole dynamics of McDonald's. Like, there was even a point when I was a nearly homeless heroin addict and i yeah. but still had a car i was gonna sleep in the car if that was uh the need but i remember going through the mcdonald's and i remember looking at the people just kind of like oh, fucking losers and then it truly <laughs> it dawned on me that i was like that guy probably makes like sixty thousand dollars a year <laughs> like, you know having a decent life like it's yeah have you guys ever met or known anyone who held a management position at mcdonald's no no but i will say this i do get that's another, it's similar to the Spirit Airlines thing. When I go to a fast food restaurant and the people working at the fast food restaurant are in a good mood, that yeah. bothers me too. I want my fast food workers to be miserable. Yeah. I want you, you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't want them to be miserable, miserable but it's just, it just bothers me. It's like, don't, don't be joyful here. Yeah. What do you? Yeah, it's hard to see. Yeah, I feel the opposite way. I I like a, a cheerful employee because it's also, I it just, it puts me in a better mood. You know, know what like, I hate? Hey, you want that? Like, oh, I, yeah, okay. You know, yeah, I'm more in I think it's camp with that. Yeah. That's, hey. Well, I was just going to say what I hate. You get off on sorrow. It's fine. I I'm, hate confident I'm, little men. Like, <laughs> like a 16-year-old or like 17-year-old boy who's like acting like they're, acting like they're an adult and they're really confident talking to people. Like, mm -hmm. how are you doing, sir? What are you doing today? Like, like just when they're young like that, because I'm like, you should not be comfortable talking to me. You're a fucking weirdo that you you even do that. Like, I'll see other adults be amused by it. Like, oh, he's yeah, so, yeah. so And I'm like, fuck that guy, man. I hate that kid. See, yeah. I will. Have you seen uh, Have you seen the wrestler? 
the Mickey Rourke yeah. movie. Yeah. So like I've the way the, the way he is when he's like happy at his job. Like that's what you I like. It, where Gabe, he's like, we can all he's slicing that you're stuff and he's yellow, yellow. Yeah, I don't understand, Gabe. Why do you keep doing that? Because it's back to my McDonald's. It's shameful. It's shameful. <laughs> Look, we can still see you doing. Have it. you ever seen anyone? We can still successful see worse. drinking it's a Mountain Dew. That you're trying to yeah, hide it. you're it's drawing more worse. attention to yourself. Have you ever seen I'm a leader? I, I thought I was behind like, the logo. I oh. assumed there was like absinthe or something no. like in that. It's just Mountain. It's just regular Mountain Dew Stop that you are shame drinking. The whole podcast. Have you ever seen an important person? And stand up and say, now what we're going to do is we're going to go out there and we're going to take it to them and we're going to show that we're better. And everyone cheers. And then he opens a Mountain Dew and cracks it. Like you just you never see anyone with their life together. No, it would be better if he cracked Dew. it and drank like you did, hunched over. <laughs> well, at least, at least I'm showing appropriate shame. After the yeah. team goes out on the court, he's like still in the locker room. He's got like his flask that he pours more Mountain Even Dew. Even Trump didn't drink that. Mountain Dew publicly. That is, that's the, that's the perfect phrase for it. Yeah. Appropriate shame. Yes. That's the perfect phrase for it. Yes. So, yeah. You do something shameful, you should feel shame. In yeah. fact, <laughs> talk about this. I was thinking, uh, heard this, whatever. Uh, my mother-in-law said something about how someone, my ex, ex-mother-in-law said uh, how someone was shameless. He's shameless. And, that, uh, you know, you go like, oh, what a piece of shit. He's shameless. And then I thought about what that means, like, because we all want people to have some shame, right? Which mm -hmm. is true. Yeah. Right? But it's it's very weird to, um, I don't know, to think of that, that you want everyone to have shame. Like, look at him. He's free of shame. <laughs> what a piece of shit. I mean, I I will, but like getting back to the, and oh, maybe okay. this isn't, well, no, I mean, I don't, I don't no, know what to say okay. on the shame no, thing. Okay. Like, I just, yeah. I, <laughs> it's totally fine. It is almost like a like a superpower being shameless, where it's right. like you know, like oh, oh it really is. It's just openly, but like, but part he of it too no though shame. is it almost. But if it's kind of liberating, if you're someone that's full of shame, to be then you know, like if you're someone that <laughs> let's just say you were, I am full of shame, and I feel like it's not. I feel like it's a prison. No, but but, yeah. I, but it, as someone oh, he, who's full of shame, to see yeah. someone that is shameless. Are you True. almost like, yes. oh boy, one, like, I wish I, you know, you see it, you envy that person. You don't yeah. think like, hey, screw you, buddy, for, you know, you should feel bad. It's like, I want to feel less bad. How can I feel less bad? We like it if you do it right. If you're shameless in the right way, yeah. people love it. You know what I mean? If you can walk it. But it's also the same thing because it's, it's like the tribe mentality thing. But I thought about this, like, everyone wants you to be humble, you know, like, you should be humble. You should be, you should be humble. But it's like, they're just doing that because they don't want you to, bra like, if you're really good at something, it's like, yeah, but don't rub it in our face. Yeah, they don't yeah. want to be, they don't want to be reminded right. that they're bad. <laughs> right. <laughs> but somehow we made it a per pervasive thing that like everyone should yeah. be that way to protect their, like, no, I'm the fucking best. Well, we don't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It was, it, it's just an interesting idea to me. But yeah, sorry. That's all. Now, now, next thing. All right. Well, I, we'll, uh, yeah. I mean, I, we can move on. Uh, I don't think there's put anything a else there. With a the, yeah, we'll put a yeah, button I got on it. Yeah, nothing else there. Yeah, yeah. That. All right. I so, Steve. Hey, buddy. I uh, I understand you uh, went to the dentist recently. <laughs> Ooh, that, tell us uh, a joke about that. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Way to be so, on it, Chell. Look at that. Boom. Oh, right on it. Boom. Yeah. We're getting good. Steve goes right. to the dentist. It's like a movie <laughs> series. <laughs> or a children's book. <laughs> yeah. It's like an Ernest movie. Ernest goes to the dentist. You're the next Ernest. Uh, dude, I fucking love Ernest movies. <laughs> what was your favorite Ernest movie? Ernest goes to goes camp. To camp. That's the best one. Yeah, goes yeah, to camp. The, the importance standard. of being Ernest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that was that? They no, should, that do, was, a, that was they should a, do a biography a, on him. Calling uh, that. Uh, yeah, that was Ooh. a movie with uh, Jack Nicholson. The importance of being Ernest. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Angelica Houston, I think. Mm. I can't remember. All right. But yeah. They did. You know that that Ernest guy, the, the actor Jim Varney. He's a stand-up stand comedian, and he's still out there doing. No, I he's, he dead. De he's dead. Steve. He's been dead for a he's, long time, yeah. Steve. Yeah. Someone tricked not you. What I heard. No, you've That's been. Not what I heard. You've, you've been, been hypnotized. Misled. I think you were hypnotized or something, but he's been dead. I'm with Gabe on this. No, yeah. he was just in Vegas. No, Steve. I just no, heard you was in Vegas. That was not. That was he, he not him. Yeah. Ernest got dead. Yeah. You don't have. You were born. Ernest with that got thing. dead. 
<laughs> Ernest goes to hell. You were born without that thing that makes you understand uh, when someone's lying to you. Oh, oh God. No. Oh, oh, boy. Just like the person who sold oh, you no. that background. Oh, oh, oh boy. <laughs> that might be Ernest. That, I was going to say, yeah. Right there. That's Jim. That's the ghost of Jim Varney messing with you right now for God. not being more aware of his uh, life right. status. Now, what should I do? Should um, I just leave it? I it's kind just of leave it. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. Who gives a shit? Yeah. Move to the left. You have this <laughs> you have this casual <laughs> not vibe that. about you that says you like you're not Yeah, see, this is almost yeah. I yeah. can't change. I can't, I don't you, want to fuck with it. You're, you're not the uh, only guy who cares about it. You're so chill. You don't you don't give a shit about your background. Look at that. No, you should put your hat back on though. You look like a character if like the show if like the office was set at like a bong shop. And you're given a bong. Some, a bong. Can I say bong? A bong, shop? bong? I don't know. A you had some shop? bounce to it. How you say bong? It? Yeah, yeah. Bong a head shop? shop. Bonk. I just stick with head. Shop. Yeah, head shop. You're like the the gym if the office is a head shop in uh, yeah. yeah Denver. <laughs> You've had about five of these since I've uh, we've got on on. The yeah, air. let's go through them because some of them were before we went on the air. You look yeah. like both the kid that's on the lawn and the guy that wants the kid to get off his lawn. Yeah, <laughs> I look like I'm <laughs> yelling at myself to get off a lawn. Yes. Uh, I also look like every character from the movie uh, Sandlot. Yep. As they've gotten older, obviously. Mm -hmm. Yeah, merged together. I think you look a bit like a wolf boy. Like a... Um, oh, okay. Yeah, like, like you have that. a lot of hair surrounding your face. Like an Eddie Munster type. Uh, an aged Eddie Munster. But he was raised by an outdoor <laughs> music festival. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just concession this is food. Nuts. And I gotta... I'm gonna Go ahead. fix this. All right. Nice. Okay. All right. Well, while he's doing that, we'll take a moment to once again request that you like, subscribe uh, to the show, give us a review. Also, NBC Studios, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Check it out. Uh, Actually, and also comment below. Like, if there's yes. a bit that we're doing and you have your own, um, your own. Um, hilarious thing to say. Go say ahead and we'll go ahead eight. and Stick. chime in with what you think Steve looks like. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, or if you have, uh, or judge you us know, on our looks. What the hell? Judge us. You can judge us on our looks or how shameful you feel when you're eating fast food in the parking lot after using the drive-through. That's very funny. I've done that before uh, as well. So yes, feel free. This is we, we want it to be interactive. So oh, he's got the hammer. Look at this. How's yourself, Bob these Vila days, over there, Robert? Huh? How's your self-esteem these days? Uh, How are you feeling in your body? I feeling I strong? ended up I ended up going back home for Easter to mm -hmm. my childhood home, and I got to sort of be a kid again. So my self-esteem is pretty good. Really? It, it's it's decent. What do you mean by you got to be a kid again? Because when it, it all right, so they feed for you people that care well, you. yeah. So yeah. for people that 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 don't know, I'm married to uh, a grandma, mm -hmm. and this could also a be a, too. Th this. Thank a you, Steve. This could one. also be. I, I kind of <laughs> wanted to make this grandma. into. All right, uh, <laughs> we we uh, this. I, it's a bit I kind of wanted to do and, and didn't have anything like for have it. But the that. all right, the uh, the idea <laughs> is that with her kids, because she has grown adult children mm -hmm. with them and the grandkids then we have to be the parents we have to mm -hmm. hey put did, did, get that out of your mouth no, oh well we got to pay for this now hey turn that light off it's electricity's not free uh we got versus like whenever my parents are around then it's like we get to be the kids because my mom's like oh let me pay for this oh what do you want yeah. and then we get to be almost like the the kid is just like, ah, oh, this is cold. I'm not, ah, oh, my, is my laundry done? You know, not with that attitude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. But at the same time, it's like, I you kind of just, there's no worries. And yes. you can just sort You're of. taken care of. Exactly. Yeah. You can watch the game. She comes in. Who wants cookies? Why you make cookie? Come on. You're making oh, me feel, um like uh, inadequate as a parent because as you're saying this, I'm like, you have to be <laughs> like, just my true thought in my mind is like, yeah. what do you mean? Like I play, <laughs> so I'm a, I, I, I think I'm a good dad. My kids love playing with me and whatever and because we play. But they've also sometimes said like uh, where we're playing Legos like last Friday night, we're playing Legos really late because mm -hmm. we're having fun. We're all sitting on the floor together. And, and my son goes, Dad, I think it's late and we should go to bed now. You, <laughs> you should have probably taken us to bed by now. <laughs> and I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for it was like 1030 or something, six years yeah, old. Yeah. You know? So it was just like, yeah, yeah, you're right. Just, uh, yeah, so. I should be more parental. Then like he, that, he, he pulls out a Big Mac wrapper from under a couch. Yeah. And is like, Dad, what's what's this? Oh, they <laughs> they've taken the ex-wife's 
perspective. They're also disgusted by McDonald's, so I can't even <laughs> get away with like sneaking through with them. So yeah, the shame continues. Sorry. How do we get on? What, uh, we're, just, we're stalling. You're for going Steve. to the dentist, Steve. Steve to the dentist. goes to the dentist. Steve goes yeah, to the yeah. dentist. So I went to the dentist, and uh, it's been a long time. I haven't. I have been not. You know, I brush my teeth, but like I could be better about it. So I finally go to the dentist. Don't be so and, hard. Uh, yeah, you've you've been hurt by a dentist. That's definitely. Yeah. yeah. So I get there, and I didn't know. You know, when I went to when I was a kid, they didn't do this, but. This is a new procedure they were doing where they would they would go through every one of your teeth and measure your gums to basically the whole thing is like how shitty are your gums, right? And it's a scale of one to ten. And the dentist, so I'm just sitting with my mouth open, and the dentist has got his tools in my mouth or whatever, and he's going from tooth to tooth, and he's just saying, So if it's if it's if they're perfect. It's a, a one. If it's shitty, it's a 10. So he's just going through my teeth and he's just yelling. He, his assistant is like two feet away, but he's still like yelling <laughs> the numbers out. He's just going like seven. Oh, now we got an eight. Oh, it's up. Oh, another seven. Oh, here's a six. Oh. Survey says nine. Oh, nine. I'm like, do you need to be fucking yelling these yeah. numbers? Was he an angrier can... after, after each one? He's like nine. Nine and yeah. a half. Yeah. Although yeah. I do like that he's honest enough where if it is decent, he's like, ah, five. And you're like, well, yeah. thank you for giving me that too. Conciliatory. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, it's not, I'm not in like a room. You know what I mean? It's like one of these dentists where it's almost like a salon where you're in your dentist chair and then there's like a half wall yeah, and then there's sure. another dentist. So it's like people can hear. So like the whole dentist office can just hear how shitty my teeth are. <laughs> I asked my dentist to discuss my tooth issues uh, in the men's room with me, like in private. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Can, can we go somewhere else and yeah, talk yeah. about this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a woman here, right? Yeah. It's, yeah. No, I got Seven. you. Seven. Right? <laughs> Eight. I, I'm also confused by his scale that one is good and ten is bad. Yeah. <laughs> it's a perfect ten. That's the worst fucking gun I like I've ever how he, seen. he still has this confused delivery, like... Like eight bad t eight. Like stop yeah, acting. Yeah. I've already established. <laughs> yeah. I haven't. Don't be surprised. Yeah. Every I'm already time it's emotionally a bad destroyed. Yeah. 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 My self esteem yeah. is at a twelve. Thank you. Yeah, and then he's like, "Oh, see, there's a nine. <laughs> also, isn't it just one organism, or like you know your yeah. gum? <laughs> like it's, you have one continuous gum, and he's going like one, two. Like I get he's doing it over <laughs> each tooth, but yeah, yeah." yeah. The whole yeah. thing's in shape here. What do we, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. He's That's actually measuring, point. they're measuring the distance of how much your gum, your gum line has receded or expanded. So it's a measure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Depending on, and it varies on like how bad your, your gum disease is and, and such. And then they just tell you to floss and then, and then you're, you're, you're pretty much screwed. So Chell, do you want to disclose <laughs> you your gum disease uh, no. on the show? <laughs> what number were you? Uh, I was a lot of nines, and that's why I'm. I this this resonates with me because they yell it out like it's like a, you're in a a cheap hotel room, and again you hear that the next. It should be something that is personal. nine, nine, yeah. nine, <laughs> nine. That's what nine. Yeah, they don't. Oh, they don't God, do that stop. with any other disease. No, they do not yell they don't out your fucking disease. Your cancer's a nine. <laughs> you have yeah. hepatitis B, B, yeah. B, yeah. B. Hey, keep it down. Yeah. C. I got a C too. Yeah. Do you diet? You have diabetes. We're gonna have to amputate your foot. <laughs> foot. This toe. This little piggy's gone. This little piggy's gone. I get it, doctor. This little piggy, you're not gonna see again. Okay, I get it. This little piggy's going to hell. All right. Okay. It's like if you get in a car wreck, right? And you have your like your lower legs are just fucking mangled and twisted and bones hanging out and bloody. And he goes, "Okay, let's go through this. Assess the damage. Okay, this toe, ugh, totally yeah. destroyed. Yeah." <laughs> that one, oh, even worse. That one, it's just a weird. You can't just look with your eyes and fucking yeah, yeah. look at the whole thing and go, yeah. ooh, Jesus. That look, guy. I'm gonna, I'll write off the whole limb. Okay, yeah. I read you loud and clear. We can save right. the time. Like, do you yeah, used to you. comb back your gums in the '90s or something? Were there? Yeah. <laughs> I get back so far. Were there any other dentists doing that at the time, or was your guy the only one? Like, was it? Oh, can I hear other people? Yeah. No, he was the only one I could hear. Yeah. 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 <laughs> So it was yeah, just you. You had the 
as far as I know. Maybe there's something to the psychology of dentists, the same way that like the the police as a profession can like drive, you know, guys that power hungry maniacs. Like maybe dentists is just like some sort of they commit suicide earlier than now. Yeah. Sadomasochism. Masco I can't say that word. You guys know that. Sadomasochism. I read you loud and clear. Yeah. Masochism. Machina. Masochism. Yeah. Yeah. Um you do know that they kill themselves the most, right? Dentists do? No, really? I, I mean, that's been a that's been a trope or something that like people have said for years. I don't know if it's really true, but it the logic that I always hear, you know, I'm quite sure it was true at one time for sure. Um, and the logic was because it was whatever studied by something. It's that they everyone who goes to see the dentist is in a negative mood. For the most part, right? Like it's it's one of your worst days of the fucking. I mean, probably your worst day of the week almost every time. You know, like yeah. even if you're not afraid of the dentist, uh, it still well, fucking maybe sucks. if they weren't and judgmental dicks when you came, they would. You'd be in a better mood when you well, go there. Well, let's look at it from their perspective. They're all on the verge of suicide, <laughs> so they're trying to find <laughs> some fun wherever they can. And if that's mocking Steve's gums, then that's what they got to do. I suppose, yeah. It's... But but yeah. So so basically, and I think this actually rings super true to me that you're absorbing negativity all day long like sure, that, and sure. that it just that it adds just up on them. Like down. yeah, yeah. And they make a bunch of money. Yeah. They don't work hard. Like no no one ever goes Every... like, what a hard working dentist. Yeah, that guy busts his ass over there. Yeah, he's got a big yeah. car. He deserves it. He busts his ass. Yeah. I suppose it does have to take a toll that you've devoted your life to fighting stuff that people just don't give a shit about, and yeah. then they're lying to you like you got to floss more. I floss every oh, day. I like that. Oh, yeah. I'm looking. I'm looking right in your yeah. mouth. You don't. No, I, I brush yeah. four times a day. I'm yeah. I'm a grown up. Like I'm looking I'm about in to your pass mouth. Pass out from your breath. You need to you need to floss. <laughs> you need to use mouth. No, I I do. Okay, all right. I'm, I'm gonna hang a, myself with this floss. I'm from a small <laughs> town up north, and you, you know, small town mentality is different. All this stuff. So yeah. I had a dentist, and this 100 percent true. Put his big fat fingers in my kid mouth all the time with no gloves on. <laughs> <laughs> and no the gloves? whole family left <laughs> what? the dental practice, but they left me there because I was friends with with one of his kids. <laughs> and uh, it That's was not a good enough reason to leave you with with the, with the fa no, doctor finger. I actually kind of uh, salute my mom on that one because I'm right. like, yeah, I would have done the same thing. Like <laughs> save my hide and go. Well, he's the one who's friends with his fucking son. He can stay there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's see how strong they are. Chew too, the yeah. nail. Ah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Bite down on my nail. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, I hate clipping my nails, so I like it when you do it for me. Yeah, um, yeah. And then he, but he also told me that they'd. Um, I love your, your idea about lying, though. That like people are lying oh, to you all constantly. day. Constantly. I think that's yeah. great. But they, yeah. he said that, um, you know, that like this other dentist I talked to, who was a, a friend of mine, married friend of mine's sister. So he's giving me some of the inside dentist guff. But he said, uh, like it blows him away that. People are going in there like you're coming in to open your mouth in front of me and my face yeah. is going to be six inches away. And how many people don't brush and floss before they go in, you know? Yeah, yeah. So he's like, oh, you know, man. so I was asking him what stinks the most, like, like what's a bad breath thing? And he goes, oh, carrots. He's like, carrots are awful. Oh, and he's like, really? if you have carrots, because he's like, they're hard. They lodge themselves between your oh, teeth or gums sure. and they, yeah, they'll be yeah. there a long time. So he said, oh, and it's man. a vegetable that rots, right? Mm -hmm. So he said that he will um, put it. Like he'll pull them out with that little hook thing they've got, and he'll lay yeah. it on the person's apron so they have to smell oh. it the whole time. Oh, I've so had you ever that seen when I was young. Food yeah, there, yeah, yep, yep, yep. Hey, Chell, oh you're God. blocking um, Steve's camera oh, for the I'm show. So sorry. Yeah, just oh, to okay. let you know. But just go ahead and tell us. You had something about the dentist suicide rates. Yeah, male dentists hold the highest. Hold Gabe was right. They hold the highest suicide rate at eight point zero two percent. I never lie. Eight ever. percent of dentists kill themselves. Or One out of every ten dentists. Kills, kills himself. Yeah. So wait, or is it eight percent of suicides? Nine out of ten dentists, dentists prefer this uh, crest toothpaste, but it's because the one guy killed himself. Really. <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't get that's his vote. He uh, shot yeah. himself in the head. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, that's sure. really funny. That's yeah. a good bit. Yeah, we did it. I think. I we think so. That was worthwhile. Got a funny bit out of this yeah. show. <laughs>
So brought to you by uh, Mountain no, Dew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite drink. <laughs> Fuck you, dentist. Mm-hmm. Mountain Dew. I have uh, I have noticed since I've gone to this dentist, had this dentist uh, situation happen, that I have been very conscious of other people's teeth, like strangers out and about, and just being like, it must be such a small percentage of people that have really good gums and teeth. Because I look, I look, I really look now, and it's like some people. Most people have fucking awful mouths. Once you cross, like, let's say, I mean, I think I'm getting there, like 42, 43, where it's like, you start looking in people's mouths and it's like, because I do, same reason, I've had teeth knocked out and all this, I'm getting this anchor drilled into my head right now. It's awful. But anyway, to fill it in this, I need a new tooth. So I do the same thing. So I see that. And some people, you'll see like a sort of like somewhat beautiful older woman or whatever, like together, expensive purse and all that shit. And then you look yeah. at her fucking like wine teeth or whatever, but like, you know, there's not wine on them, but they're gray when there's not wine yeah. on them kind of. And it's yeah, just, yeah. you go like, Ooh, that's where you see the age come through in a gross way. And I'm scared. So I, I would yeah. think I'm going to be one of those old guys who gets the all fake, like perfect, like weatherman chopper, isn't it? Super weird. Doesn't that That's look weird too? Super with weird. like guys like Biden too, who's like a hundred yep. years old, but and then, then you like vi- smiles and you're like, "That that can't be." Yeah, yeah. yeah he's There's got no way. Teeth. Yeah, but would you rather? <laughs> That's super funny. Would Would you rather see? I bet he actually gets George Washington's teeth. I think right? he has a president. You know, yeah, when you become you president, you get the exactly. Yeah, yeah. the presidential teeth. <laughs> um, Kennedy had him. Reagan had him. Yeah, yeah. It is so. So it's so. I agree. It is so weird to see that. Like, especially you're decaying all around it, but you have these vibrant, strong, sharp choppers. And I don't think yeah. that's enough of a feature where that's the difference maker. Like, is is anyone like, well, they're a gargoyle, but then they smiled and they're it, the teeth are just so straight that yeah, I'm I'm gonna tap them. If you're trying to get their face, it makes their face look worse. You know what I mean? Disagree. Like it makes their like. Their, I don't like, think it makes it look worse, but I don't think it seems like maybe an if you odd, get them too big. It seems like an odd feature yeah. to be like, well, this is what I'm gonna rein in. This is what I'm. If I get all fake teeth, I think I'm gonna get like twelve hundred, like like where there are a whole, whole bunch of really little ones. <laughs> <laughs> like why, you know, why do you have to get the same amount, <laughs> or even just to have perfect white ones, but have like like every other tooth. <laughs> I, I, like, some I like the whole like custom. gold thing. I think that they should that should become more of a thing where you like it's not just for like uh you know rappers or whatever, but just like old people just have gold teeth. Yeah. But then you gotta stop gambling because the second you can't pay off a debt, there come the oh, pliers. Coming out of your there head. come the yeah. pliers. I yep. just thought of the thing that I think of when I see old people mouths. Um rat teeth. You know what I mean? Like rat like teeth. Yellow, or that or what do you mean? Tartar. That? Yeah, oh, tartar yeah, yeah, yeah. in their angle. Yeah. Like that's what it looks like. That's what I'm heading towards if I don't get those white choppers. You ever, you ever talk to someone and their breath smells so bad and you're like, what is that? Oh, it's tartar. No. I'm... <laughs> what, what do I smell? Oh, it's tartar. I smell tartar. I couldn't pinpoint it. Tartar is the smell. I love your tartar. Uh, yeah, it, you know, and why do they call it tartar, tartar. sauce then? I know. Right? It's you know, awful. It's made from the yellow teeth of some older people. <laughs> Tartar sauce. So, um, yeah. so child, you really had a, a nine? Oh, I can't remember, but yeah, it's like uh, they, they, so they, they, and that's when they, they scrape, like they, 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 like they're scraping your, your, um, your gums away. Your, so oh. they, so they don't start growing inside your teeth like an, like a, like a, like a leech kind of thing. Yeah, like a vein. So growing they scrape. Into your... So you're an hour and a half of, of, of digging away at your gums so they don't go in between your teeth. So that's why I started flossing. You're supposed to floss in order to prevent your gums from doing that. Hold on. I know, so I've your gums flossing. were, you don't have like the, the receding gums. You have the, the, the gum yours, hairline where it's Yours like, are growing uncontrollable. Yeah. Yeah. Or, that's, that's, like, yeah. yeah no, I have a, I have a receding one. Uh, my, my problem is I have a couple of spots where it's receding really bad. He has an encroaching gum line. I, I don't, I, yeah. Chell, are you sure about that? I don't feel like gums grow. Do they? Like, I mean, I've never seen someone whose teeth got closed off. <laughs> or no, whatever. Like, they're just no, it's the all tips. gum. They're inflamed. Oh, they're inflamed oh, because... Oh, yeah, they're swollen. so swollen yes. that they're... Yeah. 
He's that laughing. sounds so <laughs> gross. <laughs> the way you're laughing is... No, just that you said that. No, no, no. My gums, they're not growing. They're swelling. <laughs> it's the <laughs> grossest. Um, yeah, yeah. My ass it's, isn't growing. It's swelling. You know, it's also weird that not only do they count out the number, so they're humiliating you there, too. And then mm -hmm. at the end, I'm surprised that he didn't look up and go, oh, he's also, like, like too skinny. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just write that down in your book. Like, it's just, yeah. like, a little, like, he seems unhealthy maybe but five three. Oh, my tooth is a no that's your height yeah. You're i can't three. Yeah. Get i can't rule on it mouth. officially i'm not a. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> well you know what's bizarre but i am a doctor tell me if you can psychoanalyze this but i when i was a kid i went had to have a, a cavity mm -hmm. uh and uh, they were putting the filling in they they gave me um novocaine and then i could still feel them they didn't give me enough novocaine and they asked mm. me if i had enough and i said yes because I didn't want to cause any problems. So yeah. I sat through, I sat through them dri drilling through my teeth. There's so much pain. What, I mean, uh, that's a, a Minnesota nice thing that uh, the, want yeah. no confrontation. I think a lot of people, yeah, it's a lot of people just don't want to ever be, you know, a problem for anyone else. Yeah. I, it's just insane and, to me that I would, that I would just say, yeah, yeah. I'm good. And then didn't you start like, so I've had that. So I have an issue with um, what, Maybe it's the enormous amount of drugs I've taken, but the tolerance for that stuff is really high. So they have to shoot a lot in more. No, it said many times. Right in my face. Right in my eyes. Many times. Can it he, said. <laughs> yeah. Where, yeah. I mean, many times they've given me enough to where I've said, like, um, like to where I warn people now. I go just, you know, mm. I'm, like every time I go, I have to take a whole bunch. And almost every time they'll go, I'll, they'll say, you can still feel it. I'm like, absolutely. And they'll, Maybe they won't believe me, so they'll do something and like my teeth, like your feet, you know, oh, what I mean? yeah. just like because yeah. it hurts like crazy. And yeah. um, and then they'll give me more and they'll comment on like, "Geez, that's a lot more." But anyway, and you're like, ah, thank so you. I've lived that many times where you feel it, Chell. But I'm blown away that you weren't. <laughs> Maybe I'm just a in pain. incredible pussy that I was fly flail so much that they go, "Oh Jesus, this guy's in pain." <laughs> what's uh, what's the opposite of a Karen? Because that would like a Linda. Like, you know, the, where it's like the oh, care is the problem. And Cassie, they're like, no, yeah. I'm good. Real Kathy. Yeah. Cassie. Cassie. Like blood spurting. At, like, no, yeah. I, I I don't want to be a bother. I'm just, I'll yeah. be to death over yeah. here. I'm not, you know, I don't want to <laughs> trouble you. I, really? Because there's like an open. No, it's okay. I, I'll, I'll clot. That's clot. the opposite of, that's a great, I love that. That's a great premise. The opposite of Karen and what she does, you know, like she's. Uh... Which is also annoying because it's like, no, let me help. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'll just die. I'm just going to go over here and die. And then you can, <laughs> the, you don't even have to have a funeral. Like, let me help you. No, it's fine. It's fine. I don't, I don't like being alive anyway. It's okay. Life is overrated. I'm just, you know, it's like one long nap. So don't mind me. I'm just going to yeah, go die. Just dump me in the river. You yeah. can just dump my body in the river. It's mm -hmm. fine. I, um, I always say, like, I, I actually took a lot of shit for this um, for my podcast with every EMT that I talked to and stuff like that. I kept asking them um, till it got pointed out by the audience. I was like, are the people ever embarrassed? Because that's all that I ever think of is like being in your house in your underwear and you have a heart attack and then people have to come in here, put you on a stretcher, like stranger. Like for some reason, the idea of that is like, oh, I'd be embarrassed as I, hell. Like, yeah, like I, I would be too. Yeah. I, anytime I've ever had to have like medical attention, like I got hit in the face with a golf club when I was like 13 and I Whoa. had to go get stitches and, and uh, was bleeding, you know, bleeding everywhere. And I was just like, where did you get crying? Hit? Not because I was in pain, but because I was so fucking embarrassed. Oh, sure. Well, yeah. I mean, I'm absolutely that way. Or I, I mean, I can yeah. relate to that for sure. The embarrassment. Yeah. It was would a guy. Be... It, it was it was both our faults, really. I mean, he. I had. Boy, you're a real. I had already teed yeah, off. And then I... <laughs> <Just> whatever <laughs> syndrome. I teed, I teed <laughs> off, and uh, I went down to pick up my tea, and he had already been lined up to tee off and i didn't see that and he didn't see me and i just he just backswing just fucking snapped me right in the eye oh yeah. my god it's like how your how your girlfriend now how like she hits you in the face of the belt but it really is your fault anyway because you've been like misbehaving <laughs> yeah. and stuff i get it yeah um, it's a lot like that yeah. yeah 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 it's um anyway yeah i forgot what the fuck we're talking all right well we'll move on to our last okay. uh premise of the show yeah. uh we'll call it a bonus premise bonus, call it a bonus. premise absolutely bonus premise. 